it's time to stop taking pain and suffering and heavy energy from other people in order to help them. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sylvia Savo and I help light workers and star seeds to remember who they are. And in this video, I want to talk about how to help other people heal without taking in the pain. In the past, in the old cycles, uh, there was some time, quite long time, a couple of thousands of years, when um, we kind of were forced to take in pain, suffering, illnesses of other people. Also, if you were uh, a teacher in the past, there is a possibility that you had to take on karma from your students and how to transmute it. Why was it happening in this way? The reason is simple. The frequency was so low. There was not so much light reaching this planet and this level of existence. So there were not so many different ways how to actually help other people. You know, when the cycles shift, it's more difficult to reach to that light. And this is what we had experienced. And so we kind of have learned to help other people by taking in their pain, by taking in their energy, by taking in the suffering and heavy energy. Also, the collective energy doesn't have to be from someone specific. And this is uh, something that many uh, empaths are struggling with. They feel like being powerless because they can feel um, how other people feel. They feel their pain and they take it in. It's not uh, uncommon when an empath uh, listens to someone who has some kind of pain in the body that the empath starts to feel the same pain in, in their body. And be beyond all of it, there is a beautiful intention to actually help and heal. But the thing is, the cycles have shifted. It doesn't have to be done in this way. Actually, it can be done more efficiently when um, we don't take in this pain and suffering. This kind of like, I'll call it the old way of healing, is still coming from the separation. From the separation with source and light and higher consciousness. Because back then we believed that we had to do the healing. So it's like there is that belief, underlying belief, that you have to go and fix someone. You have to save the world. You have to do the healing. It's not true. It happens through you. When you heal that separation, which is collective, we all have it, that would be topic on its own. It's very valid, very deep. But as you heal, the separation that you have been feeling on that soul level for a really long time, basically since entering this reality, this dimension, I mean, um, then you'll be able to really understand on a deep level all that is asked from you to help other people heal is to hold your space, hold space for them and let source consciousness to heal through you. And you don't have to do the heavy lifting on your own. That's not required of you. Actually, it kind of slows down the things. So I'll give you some example. Let's say you have two friends and they are catching up on what has been happening during the last couple of months. And they start sharing about, I don't know, some kind of challenges. And now if the other friend says, oh, like, I'm really sorry and this is terrible and how this, how this could have happened, it must feel terrible and they just, you know, go into that pain. I, I cannot even replicate that kind of conversation. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I guess you can imagine. So um, they go into that pain. In that moment, both frequencies lower down and you are basically validating the ego and the hurt and the separation in other person. Here's the thing, um, when 
there is the desire to you know help other people heal by taking it in their suffering there is an element where unconsciously you are flattering their ego because instead of empowering the other person reminding them of their sovereignty and of their own connection to source you kind of like or we kind of like play the god in that situation and are trying to fix the other person by taking it in but if you believe you have to take it in you also must believe on some level very hidden level it can be but still it's there that you are separated from source that's why you have to go and do it you have to do it the old way and it's no one mistakes if you've been doing healing this way as i said this is how it was done in the previous cycle there were valid reasons for it but it's time to slowly unlearn it it can be more easy on the other hand if you have two friends and now you hold that loving space for the other person you invite you know source consciousness move through you when you remind them of who they are when you you still you are still able to to understand what they are going through you you are still understanding what they feel why it happened why they feel being stuck with a certain problem it's still there but it's kind of like elevated energy you don't lower your frequency you continue holding the frequency really high and you also hold it high for them and you start lifting them up and this is the actual healing it doesn't happen by lowering the frequency so when you are having conversations with other people there's that question like do you say what other people want you to hear do you flatter their ego do you say i don't know just hypothetically example if someone goes through a breakup and you would say oh the other person is terrible and maybe it's not true maybe the other person is not terrible right maybe there needs to be some kind of mirroring and shadow work to be done around it and so you hold lovingly that mirror to the other person you don't go to flutter their ego and tell them the things they want to hear because in that moment you would move away from that truth you would move away from your truth as well and then you would support their illusion and you would lower your frequency and you would be both stuck in the same energetic pattern by lowering your frequency you are taking it in but it's not necessary it's time to really stop lowering the frequency it's time to step into your sovereignty to learn to hold that space for yourself and the other person as well and there is a great value um, in seeing the other person in the in their highest form as their highest self instead of seeing them as broken or you know i don't know what like something negative right you hold that higher vision for themselves and you hold lovingly that space and you wait until they are ready to start tapping into that energy you can accompany them step by step on the journey but you don't go into fluttering their ego and you don't go into taking that energy into yourself this doesn't help anyone because if it did help you know <laughs> the world would be healed already so clearly it doesn't work just like look at your own life look at different situations from your past did it help the other person did it i don't know help your parents that you took in their sadness or unhappiness did it make them more happy maybe not likely not <laughs> if yes then there is a different kind of issue maybe there but okay that's a joke anyway so this is just the simple message and i ask you to receive it with your heart because it can make your life so much easier 
it like this whole healing and everything shouldn't feel like such a terrible struggle or challenge. It's more like learning to do it in a different way. And it's not necessary to take in other people's energies. If you are an empath, you don't have to take it in. And you can still understand what people experience and what they feel. You still have, you actually elevate the energy and you move into real compassion. Real compassion understands, sees, feels. But it doesn't go into the ego. And it doesn't um, lower its frequency. And it doesn't take in the suffering. This is important distinction. So I hope I kind of made, made it clear. And I hope it has resonated with you. And if you enjoyed it, please like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.